There's a place like this where fire burns forever. But it's not just temporary, it's for eternity. Can you imagine a place where you burn forever in torment? The Bible describes hell as a place of fire. It says in the book of Revelation, But the fearful and the un and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Jesus also talked about hell. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 sorry it's hard to talk the smoke's going in my face a little bit I apologize about that but it says here that if thy right I offend thee pluck it out and cast it from thee for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell Jesus took hell very seriously. The Bible talks talks about hell. Well, we just looked at some of these scriptures that that refers to. Oh boy. Because the fire that's going to be in hell is bigger, it's going to be bigger than the fire that you've seen today. It's going to be much, probably much hotter. It's going to be much longer. And this is only an illustration. A small, small, small 
picture of what it would be like in hell. Now if I put my finger into this fire, which I'm not going to do that, but if I did, that would probably really hurt and that would burn a lot. And that would be pretty painful. But could you imagine if all that fire is burning your entire body for eternity and eternal torment? Could you imagine how bad that would be? And that's what exactly it's going to be like in hell. And the Bible was very clear. The scriptures that I just read to you, every, uh, the, a list of the people that who's going to be in the lake of fire. Uh, with fire and brimstone. It's going to be the, it gives a list. It said the unbelievers. The whoremongers, the sorcerers, the idolaters, murderers. Just people living wicked lives. And it's got to be avoided at all costs. And that's why Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came. And died for our sins and rose from the dead so that we don't have to go to hell. But we've got to repent and we've got to put our faith in Jesus Christ so that we can go to heaven and we don't have to go to hell. It's the most worst place you can imagine. And, and these fires, they go out, but the fire and the Bible talks about is never quenched. Jesus said it's a fire that never quenches. And it's a, it's a horrible place. It's called the furnace of fire. And the only way out of that is through repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. There's many people that go to hell, unfortunately, and they don't have to go to hell, but God has made a way for all mankind to be saved, but many people do because they refuse to repent, and they refuse to turn from their evil ways and to follow Christ. But don't let it be you.